How's everybody doing today? Well, as you guys can see, I have a 288 on the bench. Now, friends, I've mentioned it before. Uh, I may or may not have had a baby this week, so these videos were shot in succession. Hence the same wardrobe, friends. Um, I wanted to make sure there was something for you guys to see this week. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a little review before I fire this thing, because that review may change if it doesn't start or whatever. My initial thoughts of this saw. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Um, everything went together fine. There's a few little things that had some fitment issues. One of them being this extra mount here with the spring. Um, the hole is out of is out of line on the front, so there's no screw in there. Um, my coil cracked, friends, when I went to snug it down, which I was being very gentle, but the coil cracked, so um, that's that's a thing. What else did I like? And the oil pump, friends. I'm still not happy with this oil pump. We'll we'll see what it's gonna do. It may it may bed in as it as it runs around, but other than that, uh, the pipe's not too bad. It's straight through. Uh, all the hardware was quite nice. I see right now I am missing one screw for the uh, for the mount there. Let's have a look, see. That's probably this one. Now, friends, I didn't have any extra fasteners or anything in this kit. It actually went together quite nicely. Um, so again, I think Farmer Tech has come a long way. Say what you want about these. I know some people just won't buy these because of what they are. Um, I think if a saw is no longer made in your area or you can't get it or parts are getting harder to get, I think there's nothing wrong with buying one of these kits. Um, we'll see. We'll see how this thing runs and then we'll go from there. Um, it is not OEM friends, okay? Don't think you're buying an OEM saw, but it's like right now, I'm actually impressed the, uh, I feel like this saw, there's a couple little things I gotta change. Uh, there's a stop that goes behind here, uh, a rubber stop to stop the handlebar from hitting the chassis. I misinstalled that, so uh, that'll have to get done. But other than that, friends, this thing's actually fairly nice. It looks okay, it, it, it almost feels OEM. I hate to say it, friends, and it's nice. Uh, they sent you the nice double dogs with it, the extra mount, I mean, Again, friends, if you're looking for a 90cc saw um, and you can't find one in your area, if you can find a, a rough 288, uh, something like this, friends, this thing's really rough. I bought this kit to rebuild this, okay? So if this kit doesn't work out, we'll probably tear it down. Um, that, that saw needs cases, but I mean, if you can get a saw like that for 50, 100 bucks, that is a complete saw. I've just, I've taken it apart. Um, and then you buy this kit or, or parts of this kit, you should be able to refurb one of those fairly reasonable and then you have your 90cc saw. So that's kind of the idea behind these to me. Um, if you want a bigger saw but you can't find one in your area or they're really expensive in your area, uh, a running 288 in my area, if it's in good shape, would be six to $700, maybe 800, which is too much money, I think, in my, in my mind, so. Um, this may be, I think I'm into this kit landed in Canada for under 400 bucks, friends. So, um, not cheap, uh, that we do pay more in Canada. Um, the deal I got though, I ordered it and the shipping was free. So it kind of, it kind of evened out. So my, your best bet is to order these right from Farmer Tech, friends. Okay. I'm going to bring you guys in close, take a quick close up of the of the saw in case you're you're building one of these and then let's see if this thing will fire i have not run this saw yet i wanted to do it with you guys live on film here's the saw uh the muffler was damaged in transit there's some things on it but whatever it's a chainsaw i'm probably gonna pipe this thing let's be honest i'm just gonna do silly things to this uh as the Harv would say horrible awful things to this <laughs> we might end up doing that um, rather than doing it to an OEM saw, why not play with this? Okay, here's under your hood. Again, the wires are all nice, the right size. They give you all the rubber to keep the sawdust out. Um, I sprinkled a little bit of gas in there, so 
this broke right here and I barely cinched it down, friends. So hopefully, uh, hopefully this thing will run. Now I did notice my spark. It I do have spark, but it's not super bright. So we'll see. Okay, friends. I'm gonna bring you guys back here. Let's see if we can get this saw running. If it runs, we'll put it completely together and we'll go outside and heat cycle it. I'm not even gonna pause you guys. I put the carburetor at one and a half and one and a half. And the screws actually moved pretty well, so. Okay, full choke. I'll put it on fast idle. I don't know where the idle's gonna be set. I'll get my screwdriver ready, right here. This thing makes good compression right now. Of course, it is full of oil. Okay, ready? Turn this thing on. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's take the choke off. That could be a good omen. hand selected a kit I'm just kidding friends I don't order any of the stuff that I order I just order under a website I don't tell them who I am I like to do this friends because um, not that I'm anybody friends I'm the same as you guys but you guys know what I'm saying sometimes a company be like oh the tin man no 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 friends I don't do that here uh, I just ordered this um, off of their website and got it sent so um, I guess we should throw this thing all the way back together and then take it outside and heat cycle it. And, uh, like, let's see, does it restart? <laughs> A power saw and it fired on the first go, friends. Weird. And the clutch didn't fall off yet, and I totally forgot to reef the clutch down. <laughs> okay, friends, I'm gonna put, um, I guess I'll put a little bar oil in this. We can check if uh, oil starts coming out of there. And I'll put the air filter. Here's the air filter, friends, because I know, I know you guys like to see all this stuff. Here's the air filter. Looks just like the OEM one, so. And now you can get high top filter mounts um, for cheap, cheap, so that's pretty cool. Um, there we go. That fits on there pretty nice, actually. It's kind of, the rubber they use is kind of flimsy, but I mean, yeah, I'll look at that. It's not bad, friends. Okay, well, this kit seems to run good. Let's uh, let's put a top cover on it and heat cycle this thing. See how it looks. Ooh, ooh, look at that. What are we gonna do with this saw now, friends? If it runs good, are we even gonna risk blowing it up? I don't know. A little screw in here. Let's see if we can get these screws. This hardware looks pretty OEM to me. Like, it's very... I don't know. Does that make sense? You guys that have built these told me that these 288 kits are no joke and it's like, you know, I tend, I mean, this thing runs really nice. The, the carburetor, the carburetor is doing its thing. This top cover is not fitting well though, I will say that. Um, or I'm just trying to fit it wrong. Oh, I'm just trying to fit it wrong. <laughs> Never mind. this top cover fits minty. Mm. 
this top cover was cracked in transit, so it splays out a little bit. Okay, there you go. A tin man, 288. A tin 88, we're going to call this one. What do you guys think? This is a nice looking power saw. I hope it lasts. I hope the I hope the crank lasts and that kind of stuff. But either way, friends, I got a 288 or two kicking around here that needs parts. I would love to get a few more 288s. I do like these. Um, but uh, for now, let's play with this one. Okay, I'm going to take this outside, put a little oil in it. Let's check that that clutch is going to work. And let's heat cycle it and see how it's going to run. This is pretty cool. Okay, friends, we're out in the back 40. I put that nice Husqvarna X Tough light bar that Adam sent us on this saw. Now, I've only heat cycled this once. I'm going to heat cycle it one more time. And uh, I would like to put this thing in some wood. So, um, I'm cautiously optimistic about this carburetor. Um, it... It seems to be okay. The saw starts and idles nice. It's doing some weird throttle up, throttle down things when it's transitioning between jets. I'll fire it up right now for you guys so you guys can hear it. I'm very picky about carburetors. Um, so I'm just going to preface it. I like I like a carb to be sharp. Okay, friends, I'm going to fire this thing up. I want you guys to listen to this thing right now. I did touch it down to the wood just to park it there to let it idle. See this like that, friend. So, but I haven't really cut with it. So, okay, no choke. I just noticed something. This saw was acted weird. I'm just going to put it down here. I'm going to show you guys. I want to show you guys as much as I can about this power saw. This top cover was hitting this decomp. This decomp was stuck open. So I just idled this saw with an open decomp. Now I couldn't hear it, friends, because I wear good hearing protection. Um, it seems to throttle up and down and run better now, so... I don't think we're oiling, friends. Um, the oiler is giving minimal, minimal oil. So um, I figured that was going to be. Let's fire this thing up again. Let it idle. I want you guys to hear this thing idle. It sounds a lot like a 288. It seems to feel like a 288. I don't know, friends. Um, I'm cautiously optimistic. I just want you guys to experience the sauce if you're thinking of buying one. Okay, no choke. Decomp is open. I'm probably gonna die grind out this cover so the decomp stays. Well, see, and I just hit it again. So I've been hitting the decomp open with my finger. Okay. <laughs> now, friends, I got this saw idling really slow. Okay, really slow, and it just sits here. Okay. Chain brake on. Chain brake's really flimsy. Hard to reset. I just think idling at no RPM. Listen to how the car works. Oh! <laughs> That's the thing, friends. This thing's starting to break in. Let's get her going again. Here, we'll do her the tin mount way. Ready? It's loading up. Time to tune it. I'm gonna give this thing just a little more idle, friends. It's big rich, but listen to it, friends. It throttles up really nice. Little bomb there. 
thing is, rich friends, I just got it running. Let's see if we can give it a little less. So friends, this saw, I mean, I'm trying to give you guys the meat and potatoes, not how to build it, what I think of it running. And again, this is becoming a major issue. Like seriously, friends, I just built this saw. It's uh, five minutes old. Look, I'm actually very impressed with how it's running. want to see this thing cut let's put it in the wood just carefully that's just some soft wood right here let's make a few cuts with this and just see what it's gonna do I'll get you guys set up here um, I'm not wearing any safety gear so please don't judge me <laughs> I'm just gonna make two little cuts here or one we'll see how this thing runs okay and again making sure that the decomp is sticking out this thing was running funny and I was just about to tell you guys, hey, this saw's no good, but <laughs> it is good. Remember, this thing is not oily. We have another bad aftermarket carburetor. Let's give it more high tech to see what it's going to do. is a serious problem so I'm gonna have to ream this hole a little bit bigger um, 100% because we can't have this decomp sticking on here before we even check the carb um, what's actually happening friends is this decomp is shaking itself and opening so maybe that's the actual problem I think we're losing fuel oh yeah friends okay I'm going to grind this decomp slot. Actually, you know what, friends? I'm just going to put a decomp plug in this and call it a day. I'm a big fella, right? I can pull over 288 without uh, too much trouble. I'm just going to decomp plug this and, yeah, because it's been it's leaking bad. That could, hopefully, solve our problem. I'm just looking in one of these highway kits from Wolf Creek for a decomp plug. Do we have one? Sorry friends, I didn't, I was hoping that this thing would just run halfway and we could cut with it, you know? Hmm, oh, there's one. Thank you, Ryan. Hey friends, uh, once again, Wolf Creek Saw Shop just saved us. Go check Ryan out at Wolf Creek. Um, he's a good fella. I should put in another order with him. I love, uh, I love a good Wolf Creek order. It's like Christmas. He's a good fella and he helps us channel out. Okay, I'm going to put a decomp plug in here and then I will carry this back outside and see if it runs any better. Now friends, what could be happening is the decomp plug 
is actually the decomp is leaking okay it's rattling open at higher rpm and it's dumping all the fuel charge out of the cylinder i think that's what's going on because i just closed the decomp and then i ran the soft friends and i actually closed it again when we got back in here it keeps closing so there we go you guys don't need to see me plug this do you i realize i'm on the other side We can get this thing oiling and fueling. This may be this may be a contender, but I always get the bad carbs, so I won't be surprised. Let's see if this actually does anything. I hope so. Because that was weird. This when I pulled the decomp out all the way manually and got it out, the saw started running normal again, and then the minute the decomp was pushed in, I noticed we were having more issues. So, and that was the worst that's run in this decomp. There's fuel all down the side of this thing. So, okay, friends, I'm going to take this thing outside. I'll be right back. If it runs, uh, well, no. I'll bring you guys with me. Okay, friends, 288 with a decomp plug. No more decomp. That decomp was leaking. <laughs> No, oh, we're done, friends. We're dead in the water. what the problem was <laughs> listen starts idles okay hey friends I don't want to run this thing too much it's not oiling which causes a lot of heat in the clutch and it's also not uh, there's no top cover on it so it, it these will run hot with no top cover um, I figured out the problem friends I just figured I'd close off with this um, the fuel line where it came in through into the tank, it was like in a knot. I'm not even kidding, friends. I'm like, hmm, I wonder about this fuel line. And I started pulling it out and it stopped. And I looked in there and it was like looped around itself. So I got it free, unkinked it, put it back together. As soon as I fired the saw up, it was so rich it wouldn't run anymore, which tells me that I knew that this thing was getting starved for fuel. So, um,. This thing seems to run okay. I'm going to put the top cover on and heat cycle it some more. But other than that, friends, um, we'll have to investigate the oil pump. I'm getting oil, but not enough oil. So um, we'll have to wait and see what that is all about. I'll probably just throw an OEM pump in this and call it a day. But uh, if I have one, that's good. Anyhow, friends, um, we'll do some more content on this saw. I'd like to run this a little bit more uh, and do some firewooding with it. My take on it right now, if you are mechanically inclined, you like power saws and you don't mind fitting a few parts or replacing a few parts, this seems to be an okay saw right now. Um, I don't trust this chain brake. It's super flimsy, so I would probably not trust my life to that. It bothers me. Like, look at this, friends. Ugh. Okay, but other than that, I think this thing may be a contender for a good firewood and saw. Anyhow, friends, I'm glad I figured this out. Thanks for tuning in. This has been a lot of fun. We're going to do lots more content on this saw. We will run it. I just want to make sure it runs stock, and then we can port the living snot out of it if you guys want. Um, or do a base gasket to lead or whatever. Put a pipe on it. Whatever you guys want to do. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Take her easy. Later.